Welcome to the Rusted Garden. Today I want to show you how to take care of your tomato plants. Take care of diseases before they arrive. And this is called um, preventive spraying, basically. It's May 21st. I know about this time leaf spot starts rolling into my garden if I don't take care of it. Or really more so if the temperatures get right. There's a lot of rain, a lot of um, moisture and cool weather. That leaf spot goes crazy. I've been able to manage it by doing this. Two things. Now, I put in this is a two gallon sprayer, so I put in two 325 milligram aspirins. I'm gonna connect the video to this to explain what this does in more detail. But basically, aspirin mimics a hormone in a tomato plant that tells it to um, beef up its defenses, so to speak. So you trigger a response in your tomato plant where it thinks it's being attacked and it really puts out its defenses and it makes it harder for diseases to land on the leaf. Um, and I'll hook, a, 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 I'll link the video to that. It, it really works. There's tons of information on it. You can look up aspirin and tomato and find all this kind of research. Now, the other thing that I do is just take one tablespoon of baking soda, put it into the container. I already put one in there. This is a two gallon container. So I'm using two tablespoons of the baking soda mixed in water, nothing else. What baking soda does is it changes the pH level on your tomato plant and that makes it harder for diseases to attach themselves to the leaf. Now, what I do on my sprayers, again, this is a two gallon sprayer, baking soda, one to two tablespoons per gallon, that's the formula. Neem oil, when I use that, one to two tablespoons per gallon and a little bit of soap so that the oil disperses through and don't spray when temperatures get over 90 degrees. This is the formula for when temperatures are under 90 degrees. And what do I mean by that? Basically, I have one tablespoon per gallon of baking soda in there. It's 70 degrees. This spray will be perfectly safe and fine on my tomato plants at 60, 70, uh, 80 degrees. When the temperatures get into the 90s, a lot of tomato leaves kind of go limp. They're a little bit weaker. So they can't handle the sprays you're putting on them. So something that was safe when the temperatures were well below 90 degrees isn't safe when the temperatures are over 90 degrees. And that's something you have to learn. The other thing is no matter where you're learning your, um, wherever you're getting your formulas, or your recipes for sprays, always test spray. Spray a couple of leaves, wait 24 hours, see if there's any damage, then spray the rest of your plant. So this is the setup. In two gallons, there are two aspirin, and two tablespoons of baking soda spray, and that is my prevention spray. That's what's gonna stop the diseases from coming. The easiest way to prevent disease is to not let them get attached. Let me show you how I do the spraying. So this is one part of my tomato garden. The dust on there is actually insect dust. I use that by putting the dust on just before I go to bed or late evening as soon as it gets dark when the good insects are kind of gone. Leave the dust on through the night wash it off in the morning like I'm going to do now and this way it doesn't get on beneficial insects. But for spraying it's pretty straightforward. Make your spray, really soak the leaves down. Get the stem, get the undersides. This is just baking soda and aspirin. It's not going to hurt anything. But you're really just soaking and washing your plant and changing the pH level on the leaves. And you're also using the aspirin to mimic a hormone to trick the tomato into thinking it needs to put up all of its defenses. This plant actually needs to be staked, but it kind of just rolled over so I can spray the under leaves. But just soak it down nicely. Get the baking soda spray, and you would do this really every seven days because it's a light spray, it's not gonna harm your plant, and this really prevents diseases from getting on to your tomato plants. You can do this with other plants too, but I primarily have issues with tomato plants in my zone. Soak it down. This would also all get mulched. I'll put down wood mulch. That will stop any disease spores or mud splashing up to the undersides of the leaves. It just helps keep the tomatoes nice and clean. But that's all you do for prevention and preventing leaf spot. And this also really works to help prevent early blight when it starts rolling in uh, later June, early July in my area. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please check out my seed and garden shop at www.therustedgarden.com. Thank you.